The film opens in New York City. Tom Cat is making his way to the park, while Jerry Mouse meets with a shady rat for a place to stay. After having no luck, Jerry comes across Tom in Central Park pretending to be blind while playing the piano for money to a crowd of onlookers. Jerry sabotages the act by dancing for the crowd, stealing Tom's money. Tom goes after Jerry, revealing his non-blindness to the angry crowd. The cat chases the mouse until Tom crashes into a young woman, Kayla Forrester, ruining her delivery of clothing. After an argument with her boss, Kayla quits her job. Tom catches Jerry running into the Royal Gate Hotel, but the doorman boots Tom out, leaving Jerry to sneak into the hotel undetected. Kayla goes in to grab a snack, before spotting a woman, Linda Perrybottom, awaiting an interview. Kayla pretends to be part of the staff, and convinces Linda to give her her resume, before saying the hotel is looking for someone more local. Kayla passes the resume off as her own, and manages to score a meeting with the hotel manager, Mr. Henry Dubrose, and events manager, Terence Mendoza, who hire her for the weekend since the hotel is hosting a wedding for a wealthy couple. Tom tries to find a way into the hotel, but runs into an alley cat gang led by Butch. When they threaten Tom, he manages to call an animal control officer in their direction, causing them to run away. Meanwhile, Jerry gets himself comfortable in his own little room within the walls of the hotel. Terence takes Kayla on a tour of the hotel, and the people who work there before the bride and groom, Prieta and Ben, arrive with their pets, Spike the dog and Toots the cat. Spike barks in Jerry's direction until he feeds Spike a dog treat. Jerry's presence is made known, and Kayla vows to catch the mouse before Prieta and Ben find out about him, and decide to take their wedding elsewhere. She befriends the hotel's bartender, Cameron, in her attempts to catch Jerry, but after she sets a mouse trap with some cheese to lure him there, the mouse catches on quickly, and takes the cheese without setting off the trap, and leaves a note and tip for Kayla. She realizes she has found herself a challenge. That night, Tom is trying to play his broken keyboard in the rain until he sees Jerry from a window in the hotel room. After talking to his shoulder angel and devil, Tom resolves to go after his rival. He makes several attempts to make it into the room, all of which are foiled by Jerry and lead to Tom getting injured repeatedly. He eventually opens the window himself and chases Jerry through the room, both of them trashing the place until Kayla hears the commotion and finds Tom, recognizing him from earlier. Before she can kick him out, Tom manages to communicate with her and say he can help her catch Jerry. She takes Tom to Dubrow's and Terrence to suggest that they hire him briefly to help catch Jerry instead of an exterminator who can cause problems for the wedding. Although Terrence doesn't like the idea, Dubrow's likes Kayla's initiative and agrees with her. Tom starts his job of going after Jerry when he spots the mouse in the halls, but when he tries to beat him with a bat, he ends up hitting Spike, making a new enemy in the process. Kayla gets help from the bellop, Joy, who notices the tiny door in the hall that leads to Jerry's room. Kayla formally meets Jerry when he gives her his business card, but once he spots Tom, the two continue their shenanigans, leading Tom to smash face first into the wall when Jerry moves the door to the right. Kayla and Terence go to Ben and Prieta's room, where Ben talks about bringing an elephant for the wedding to carry him and Prieta, although she thinks it's too much. After Ben and Terence leave the room, Prieta confides to Kayla that her engagement ring is missing and she is afraid of Ben finding out. When Ben notices it's not on her finger, Kayla covers for her and says she is getting it cleaned. In reality, Jerry has it in his room. Terence is also made to take Spike out for a walk and the dog causes problems for him. Tom comes up with an elaborate Rube Goldberg device to trap Jerry in a cage after luring him out with cheese. He brings Jerry to Kayla as proof and then ships him off somewhere. While Kayla has her own little celebration, Tom goes to play the piano until Toots catches his eye. He starts to play a song until Jerry returns and messes with him. Kayla catches them and stops them from causing trouble, but after she threatens to bring in exterminators, Jerry reveals he has Prieta's ring and will give it back as long as he can stay in the hotel. Terence comes back with Spike and he notices Jerry in Kayla's pocket. Before he can find the mouse, Spike chases after Tom and Jerry, causing a major commotion in the lobby that ends when they cause the ceiling to collapse. Kayla ends up grabbing the ring so she can return it to Prieta. Terence tells Dubrose he should fire Kayla for failing to catch Jerry since he spotted him during the commotion 
but Dubros thinks the wedding planning is stressing Terence out, so he puts him on leave and promotes Kayla to his position. She goes to the roof to find Tom and Jerry and tells them they can stay in the hotel as long as they can prove they can get along without causing any more damage since the wedding is the next day. Kayla sends Tom and Jerry out into the city for some time together while she gets the staff ready for the wedding. The two enjoy themselves, even though Tom, naturally, takes a lot of hits on the streets. After the elephants arrive, Kayla meets with Prieta, who admits that she and Ben haven't been communicating well enough, and she hasn't been able to bring herself to tell him that he has done too much for the wedding, fearing it will be a disaster. Kayla also runs into Ben, who expresses similar sentiments, but Kayla knows that the two of them really do love and care for each other. Unfortunately, Ben misinterprets Kayla's advice as to go even bigger than he is already. Tom and Jerry are taken to the animal pound, where they find Butch and his gang. They dare Tom to eat Jerry to prove that they aren't actually friends, and after Tom puts Jerry in his mouth, the mouse lights a fire in there that blows their cover. Fortunately, they are bailed out by Terence. Unfortunately, he gets them in separate rooms to spread lies about each other to keep them turned against one another. Terence leads the duo to go to the hotel separately as the wedding is starting to take place. He gets Tom to go after Jerry, chasing him on top of the wedding cake. Chef Jackie starts hitting the cake to get Jerry, leading him to fly towards the elephants, who promptly freak out at the sight of Jerry. This causes them to start stampeding throughout the hotel before they end up running into the streets. Following the disaster, Prieta tells Ben the wedding is off and gives him back the ring. Kayla is then forced to come clean to Dubros about lying about her resume and sees herself out of the hotel before she is officially fired. Tom and Jerry realize it was their fault the wedding was ruined, and they finally decide to set aside their differences to help Kayla. They find her and Jordan in the market and offer their services to help put on a wedding in Central Park. Kayla finds out that Prieta is heading for JFK Airport, so she has Tom and Jerry chase after her on a remote-controlled skateboard with a drone to grab Toots and have Prieta's car turn around to chase her. Meanwhile, Kayla talks to Dubros and apologizes for lying, but he is convinced that she is capable of turning things around, even as Terence argues. However, Kayla knows Terence set Tom and Jerry loose to fight, and she promises to keep it a secret if he helps her out, which he agrees to. Kayla gets Ben and everyone to the park, where Prieta arrives and finds everyone. She and Ben reconcile and are finally married. During the reception, Kayla and Terence make amends, and Kayla is allowed to keep her job. She does bring Linda back so that she can have the job she deserves. Tom is playing the piano for Toots again until Jerry starts to mess with him again, leading them to also run into Spike. The trio pulls down the, the end curtain for the humans so that they can continue their mayhem at a safe distance. After the credits, Ben receives a bill for both weddings, to which Dubro said that it doesn't look good for him. Thank you for viewing our movie recapped. I hope you have enjoyed watching our videos. Please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to help us grow. Click the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload our next videos.